What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. It is a new release day. Happy new release day. This is 2020 Panini uh, Contenders Basketball. This is a six box hobby half case break. Pick your team's number one. Number two, on card autographs per box. Remember, no veteran commons will sh ship out of here, but everything else will. And here's the list of customer names. So thank you to everybody that got in. Rob got lost by Mojo Cavs. And let's get it rolling. So remember, guys, uh, it is from a sealed fresh case. There we go. Oh, did they not? I was. I actually was watching that auction. It was a little over like three, right? Ah, oh, what a douche. I hate when people do that shit, man. Well, hey, man, I mean, you can always relist it. Or, like I said, now that he's fully cleared, I think they announced yesterday, he's fully cleared for for the season this year, right? He's going to be right on time for the, for uh, opening day or season opener. Then it's also not a bad deal to kind of hold on to it. I feel like he's going to have a great second year, too. All right, so one, two, three on the left, four, five, six on the right. Let's see if I can actually roll it and hit these corners here because usually I really don't. But let's check it out. Oh, I did. I did. I don't know if you guys can still see it, but it's like right there. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, but I always hear people say that usually higher-end products or higher-end cards usually are the ones that actually people pay for, right? But... I just don't, I just, I just hate when people just like, why bid and, and mess with somebody, you know, and not pay. I mean, eBay needs to be more strict, right? If you're going to pay, like, you got to have your credit card on file, you know, make it like that kind of deal where like, if you win the auction and you don't pay, you're going to have to pay. Like, that is your fault. You know what I mean? Like, don't make it so easy where they're just going to like, give you a strike or block your account and then you can easily just make a new account. Make it actually more strict where, like, if you actually bid and you actually win the auction, you have to pay. Like, there's no way around it. That way, all these ghost buyers, right, just just don't happen. Or, yeah, you get banned. But see, that's the thing. You can get banned, but then you just you can just make a new account again. And it's even worse when it's, like, somebody that has great feedback, too, and they don't want to pay, you know? But I guess you could... I guess in your account, right? I don't really sell on eBay, but tell me if I'm wrong. If uh, if you don't trust anybody with low feedback, you can kind of have a marker. Like, let's say you don't want anybody bidding on your on your auction that has, like, less than 50 or less than 100, right? Yeah, damage the credit score, yeah. People really want to make sure that they have that right. You're going to lose 10 points on your credit score for every non-pay. Alright guys, well let's take a nice little glance at these. See how beautiful these rookie tickets are. Tickets are. That is not a good photo of Kyle Kuzma. He looks like he has a very, very like circular round head on the top. Zion Williamson and we have uh, Sweet Shots Kawhi Leonard and we have lottery ticket look at that Isaac Okoro already 2020 draft That's kind of cool. Draft odds. Devin Vassell. There you go. There's your first rookie ticket. Remember, these are all on card. I think some of the sophomore players might be stickers. But 
For the most part, I think they're all on card rookie tickets. William with the Spurs. We have Damian Lillard for the Portland Trailblazers. Montrez Harrow. Is Montrez Harrow hurt? I feel like I haven't heard of him at all for the Lakers. We have lottery tickets. Aaron Naismith. Nice playoff ticket for the Nets to 249. That's Kyrie Irving. Who wins today, guys? Does Steph Curry have a Jason Tatum like game today and upset the Lakers? Or do the Lakers handle or do the Lakers handle business, I should say? Luka Doncic. Look at that. Legendary contenders. Little Steve Nash. That's a nice little insert there. Phoenix Suns. Gwena Katie. Speaking of LeBron, there he is. Nice little James Wiseman lottery ticket. Nice. Is he picking up some PSA stuff? That's awesome, man. Kelly Obre Jr. So there you go. That's a little uh, veteran ticket. And that one is a little uh, sticker card. But most of the veterans are going to be stickers. The rookies will definitely be on card. Rookie of the year, Josh Green. Don't let to hurt my babies. <laughs> Devin Vassell. Ticket. It's like a little contender's optic feel. A little preview right there. Oh, that's right. Will, you got that Herbert Zebra. That is awesome, man. Field level two. Sick. Hey, man. Wishing you the best. Hopefully it grades pretty well. One. You know, I want to be realistic, Will. I think my heart wants to say that they've only made like 10 or 15. I just don't think so, though, man. I, I think it's hard for them to only make that many. I really think, honestly, they make like they make like 25. Or, I, I'm not even kidding. I think they make more than 25. There's just no way, because I've seen so many zebras. I mean, I know they make different variations of zebras, so that kind of saves them a little bit, but I feel like they make more than 20, 25. Which is still very limited, but it only makes you it only makes you think, like, when you get a gold out of 10, that that is more limited than a zebra, you know? I think they like to make it as a super short print, and it kind of hypes it up, right? Oh, these are so rare, you know, blah, blah, blah. I, I want to I want to see I, I want to say that zebras are they, they make more than like 25 now tiger stripes on the other hand I think that is more rare only because I think you can only get tiger in first off the line because I went out and got my tiger stripes and zebras last year of Miles Sanders and it was really tough like I I barely just got a tiger stripe uh, for football select this year like a month or two ago and that's because a customer of ours Pop me out, you know? The Tigers are just super, super hard to get. Only just because, like I said, they're on first off the line only. Nice little die cut. Look at that. Superstars die cut. Jason Tatum. They make much less boxes of first off the line. So that's why Tigers are definitely worth more. 
The zebras, I don't know. Something in me tells me they make way more than 25. Which, there's nothing wrong with that, though. I mean, we're never going to actually know, right? So it doesn't matter. Everybody could assume that it's less than 10. Xavier Tillman is your next playoff ticket. That's 60 out of 99. Memphis Grizzlies. Nick with that one. Yeah, well, I, I I don't think a lot of people are selling him too much, Will. I think a lot of people are holding him. I think a lot of people, I mean, including myself, I'm a big Ducks fan. Cole Anthony, there you go. Rookie of the year ticket. You know, and I, I hope he does well in his career. But, you know, I think a lot of people are just thinking he's going to explode in the second year, which I hope he does. But what I'm saying is that we don't really know that, <laughs> you know. So I think a lot of people are holding on to him until the season starts. Little RJ Barrett to 249. MVP contender Zion Williamson and definitely did play like an MVP this year. Definitely was solid. What do you average? Like 28 points a game or something like that? 25 plus points? It was great. Sweet shots, Pascal Siakam. Nice. Well, what Jordan Love did you get, Katie? 1800 sounds amazing. Very nice. RJ Hampton, rookie ticket for the Nuggets. Denver Nuggets going to Adam Kelly. Oh, you got a zebra? Damn. I don't remember that. That is awesome. Yeah, I think you're right, Chris. For sure. I, I think... Um, I think the hobby's taking a little dip that way. I, I don't think... I think people are now that are getting to the hobby realize that and it's always should have been this way is that you know the numbered cards and if you grade them lower pops will definitely hold their value a lot more i mean it's always been like that but i think obviously with the hobby boom last year everybody was grading base lebrons like this they were sending them in hundreds right you know sending them to get graded and stuff like that and at one point they were selling for it way more than they should have but now with psa closed down and you know the price is going up it's really going to make people think should I do I really want to grade this LeBron James for 60 bucks or whatever the case may be when it's only probably only going to sell for like 60 number cards and like short prints will always hold the most value yeah I mean everybody graded a Luca for sure I mean I have some Zion graded I pulled them in a box break like I pulled a I pulled a Zion Prism Silver in a retail box that I bought, you know, when it first came out. And what retail boxes were like $100 at the time. You know, and I graded it and I got a 10. You know, those are still a couple thousand. I'm not looking to sell it only just because, only just because, you know, I only paid $100. And that's kind of like what I like to go buy. As long as I can get $100 back for it at the end of the day for Zion, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll hold on to it. But, you know, for those people that pay thousands of dollars. Yeah, well, for sure. When people stop grading, the base LeBron James would definitely go up in value. That's for sure. The older stuff will. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that too, Jopi. But I think people are starting to realize that those cards in the long run aren't going to be worth that much money. See a ticket. And look at that. What did I tell you? 
for 17 bucks, you get a Cassia Stanley rookie ticket on card, and it's like the contender's optic feel. Why not, Kyle, right? 17 bucks. There you go. And you had like four different autograph opportunities for the Indiana Pacers, too. Not bad. <laughs> I still actually have a couple cards at PSA 2 that I submitted in January. I got some Sabrina Inescu prisms actually there. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping my Sabrina Inescu is grade 10s because I really want them back. I'm not trying to sell them, I just want to make sure that they're 10s. But I'm going to have to buy some more. Anthony Edwards lottery ticket. Somebody else, somebody just go get the Pacers at number 2, who cares? $17. Can't go wrong with that. So it's been interesting to watch, like, what's it like to play for 76 year old Tony LaRusa? How about to 99 semifinals ticket, Miles Turner's? Another one for the Pacers. I bought a couple boxes of women's Prism NBA. So fun. I've always liked the women's NBA. I used to go to a lot of Sparks games when Candace Parker was like. In her first four or five years. Luka Doncic. For the Mavericks. Yeah, so Brandon Esco's a baller. She just had her first triple-double in like her first like five, six games in her career. Youngest, for sure. Can you believe there's only been like seven or eight triple-doubles ever in women's NBA basketball? That's wild to think. Wow, no way. Allen Iverson, the finals ticket for the Sixers. Very nice. 11 out of 25. That is awesome. Snakeskin, man. Snakeskin is a great parallel. I still have to get some Miles Sanders, too. Allen Iverson, the answer. Spurs. Or, sorry, not Spurs. 76ers. Brian just got those. One of the last five teams taken. Nice little LaMelo Ball lottery ticket. Oop, this kind of fell out too. Rookie of the Year ticket. LaMelo Ball. You know, my favorite product this past year was Mosaic. Mosaic. I love Nebulas. Uh, I think they're such cool cards. Nebulas this year in Mosaic. Peacocks in Mosaic this year were really awesome. Elephant print. I was about to say that. I think they're coming out with new, like, animal, animal prints. Elephant's going to be pretty awesome. But Nebulas for me, Mosaic, and, and uh, Peacocks uh, in um, Mosaic Choice. Fluorescent? That's right, Chris. Those fl well, I, I'm just, I'm, I like Mosaic in general. I think it was one of the best products they made. That Mosaic is here to stay. That is for sure. I'm actually almost done with my rainbow. I'm just, I'm just missing the fluorescent pink out of 10 for McNabb and Miles Sanders, and I, I think I'm pretty much there. <clears throat> I didn't do the fast break edition or no huddle parallels because that's just too much. I don't really like them so much. But the main fluorescent colors and the main colors in the mosaic hobby and choice, I pretty much got them all. So if anybody has a pink out of 10, let me know. No, yeah, it was uh, you got it was uh, the Nebula from Prism Choice, nineteen twenty. Will so when you're talking about? All right, halfway through, guys. Next one. You know, that's pretty debatable now, Miguel. I, I think Mosaic did definitely straight off, straight first year just blew a lot of these products out of the water. But then I want to say, though, Optic this year in football was really strong. Prism this year was, I like Prism. It's always going to be one of the best products, but I just think the quality, the centering and all that was a, a, was just too off this year. So I think that's what really hurt Prism. But it's still always going to have the value there no matter what. 
But Mosaic just killed it this year, and I think Optic Football did great. Well, Mosaic Football came out, what, like October-ish, I think, last year? October, November, if I remember correctly. So I assume, I assume probably at some time around there again. Oh, September, yeah, one of those, one of those months, I know. It was like towards the end of the year. Football season-wise, it was, I think. Trey Young. For the Hawks. That's true. I mean, there wasn't having a pro day. Yeah, that kind of hurt him too. But there's always those uh, pro day or uh, those type of uh, cards in prison all the time. But I think more often, more this year than previous years for sure, having those uh, pro day-ish type of photos. Danny Avdija, very nice. That is for the Washington Wizards. David with that one. That is uh, Washington Wizards, very nice. Gotta pause that before we get copyright. Killian Hayes. I feel a die cut coming up. Nice, another superstars die cut of Luka Doncic. <laughs> How many of us have been friends? Nice, our first cracked ice. Montrez Harrow, that's 13 out of 25. Lakers. Katie, there you go. I am panicking leaving all the and top loading all the LeBrons too, so don't worry. Snow Glows, man. I love that parallel in Crown Royale this year. Little Charles Barkley legendary. Little Chuck. I was watching some Shark Tank. I was watching when uh, Chuck comes out in a couple of them. I wish it was LeBron too. <laughs> Nikola Jokic. Odoka. Whoa. Do they have patch autographs here and contenders this year? Wow. That is 6 out of 10 for the Utah Jazz. Azubuki. Wow. I was about to say, this is a thick card. Something new. Utah Jazz, that's going to Raymond. That's pretty interesting. Okay. I, I dig it. Anthony Edwards lottery ticket for the T-Wolves. Yeah, that is a two-color patch, at least, right? Kemba Walker. Jamal Murray, I know Denver's missing him this playoffs. He had a great playoffs last year. Uh, it is a good question. 
I guess people just rather have... Well, I think maybe... Is it grading purposes? I would assume maybe because it's kind of tougher to grade a die cut. Than it is a, a normal, you know, standard size card. I've always thought die cuts were definitely cool. Uh, but, I mean... I think... I think the grading is probably one thing. I think also, too, like... People may hate, uh, you know, that it's kind of a, just a weird shape sometimes. I would assume it's grading, just because they could get dinged right away easily. Like in Crown Royale, that was the one thing, like, I love Crown Royale this year, but the one thing I did hate about it was that, uh, you know, there was some cards, like there was a die cut in the front, or a die cut in between two regular cards, which in the pack is going to cause the cards to start bending. So a lot of the like kabooms were really damaged. You know, like that was a that was kind of the one thing that kind of sucked about Crown Royale, because a lot of the die cuts really caused these other cards to kind of get damaged. Zion. We got Danny of Deja. And another Odoka. Another one for the Jazz, Raymond. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. So the cards are protective. Peel. <laughs> Onyeka. We got to 149 first round ticket. Drew Holiday for the Bucks. Kyrie Irving. We got Patrick Williams lottery ticket. Ooh, we got a redemption. Please be who I want it to be. <laughs> Tyrese Halliburton. All oh, those EX cards are sick, man. Well, you know, Will, I don't know if you're a big hockey guy or you like hockey, but uh, hockey this year, uh, Upper Deck is bringing back... Um, uh, Fleer Ultra Retro, so we'll have some Jambalayas, PMGs, uh, you know, all the crazy sets from that Fleer Ultra. They haven't done Fleer Retro since like 2016, 17, Austin Matthews rookie year. So I'm really excited for that. <clears throat> I'm probably going to have to buy some boxes because I'd love to pull like a nice Jambalaya of like Connor McDavid or something. And then the PMGs and stuff. So I, I don't know if you like hockey, but... They're bringing that back this year. Which, why not, right? Great time to bring those back. Alrighty, good luck. Rookie season ticket. Card number 117. Killian Hayes. Ah, oh, I thought that would be LaMelo. So there you go. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I... I think it's Metal Universe to bring it back. That's what I meant to say. That is Detroit. 
Uh, Pistons going to Mark. All right, last box, guys. So, again, uh, if you guys want to run back the second half, I'm still here for about another hour, hour 30 minutes maybe. Plenty of time to run back the second half. So, if your teams didn't hit too much in the first half, again, we do have the second half available. Um, and it is uh, – looks like it's down to eight left now. If you guys want to get that rolling. And if you did hit some nice stuff in the first half, then there's still second half. You never know. Potential to get a full case worth of nice stuff. These packs rip pretty easily. Love them. Cards look sharp as always. Ooh, this one's a thick one. Oh, probably just a little blank. That's awesome, Will. Griffey. All right, good luck, everybody. Last box. Kevin Durant playoff ticket to 249. Whoa. Permit to dominate. Jalen Smith. I don't think these are. I don't think that's actually an autograph. But look at that. Swipe this. Get into the Suns practice facility as Jaden Smith. There you go, Katie. I'm sure you can squeeze by as Jaden Smith. Yeah, not the crew. Well, I mean, it's the biggest player they got. <laughs> That's for sure in the checklist, so. Probably besides like Chuck, obviously. I mean, biggest rookie, I should say. Chuck would be an awesome one. Very nice. Cole Anthony. Contenders rookie ticket. Orlando Magic. That is Jeffrey. Let's get a chuck. Kawhi Leonard. Oh, no, you're good, Katie. I know, I know. I wish those were autographed, though. That would have been awesome. Obi Toppin. LeBron. Semi-finals ticket, 21 out of 199. Kawhi Leonard. Um, if we do have him, Jack... Uh, you have to DM us for the price, and then you would use balance owed on jaspies.com. Um, I don't know if Teddy's selling any of those, but um, if we do have some available for personals, when I go on right now in about two hours at two o'clock, um, I'll I can you can DM me and I'll give you the price. Danny of Deja, are we still missing one autograph? Oh, I see something. Gordon Hayward. Not the Charlotte Hornet we were looking for, but hey, there you go. Is 
it's just a rule that Upper Deck has if you're not a online uh, retail seller. There's only like five or six of those in the world. Uh, but we're an online group break, online authorized group breaker, so we could uh, we could always sell their products on release day. Uh, but um, I just I, I I think it works. I think it's a way where people don't undercut other people because you kind of won't know what the price is online unless you're an authorized group breaker or a, an online retailer. So you're never gonna be able to have like a crazy blowout sale, you know. Um, which it does keep their prices relatively high. I get why they're doing it, but it just kind of sucks because, you know, we can't really advertise the full box price. It has to be one-on-one -on -one to the customer via, you know, direct message via the phone or in person. Uh, or, like I said, in a direct message like on Instagram. So I get why they do it, but it just kind of sucks because, you know, it's so much easier to just go online to a website and look up the price, right? All right, so there you go, guys. That was a six box half case break. So, Gordon Hayward, Kawhi Leonard Superstars die cut. We got uh, Cole Anthony, very nice little permit to dominate Jalen Smith. We got Killing Hayes Redemption. Odoka, Anthony Edwards rookie lottery ticket. Odoka patch autograph to the 10. Legendary ticket Charles Barkley. Cracked eyes Montrez Harrow. Wish that was LeBron. Uh, Luka Doncic. Die cut. Denny of Deja. Lottery ticket LaMelo Ball. Killian Hayes rookie of the year contenders. LaMelo Ball lottery ticket. Allen Iverson the finals ticket was awesome. Another die cut there of Luka Doncic. Uh, Anthony Edwards. Cassius Stanley. RJ Hampton. Zion Williamson MVPs. We got Xavier Tillman, Devin Vassell. We got Kelly Aubrey Jr. and Devin Vassell right there. And, of course, uh, a lot of other uh, inserts and rookie tickets and stuff like that that we will be top-loading for you. So, appreciate it, guys. This was Contenders Basketball, six-box half-case break. Pick your teams number one on jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you want to look forward to the next half, guys, there's still a lot of teams available. Um we are down to, looks like, eight left in the next picker team. A lot of teams still remaining, including a team like the Knicks. Didn't really call the Knicks number in this half. Could be hiding there in the second half at 130. And some other teams in here uh, that may have hit an autograph or so, some nice inserts, could still have some monstrous hits hiding in the second half. So let's get it rolling. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.